Welcome back to the Dries Family Channel, and today we are with Bo. Morning, Bo. So our goal today is to get free wood from Facebook Marketplace. We have a couple places that we're going to today. Look, he wants a treat from you guys. You like Bo? He's cool, huh? Yeah. So like I said, today we're trying to go get some free scrap wood that people are getting rid of. We got one place that they tore down their fence, so we're gonna get that and recycle it. But another place is tearing down their swing set, and we're gonna try to use that for to frame it out. <laughs> is that all this poop over there? Yeah, that's a lot of poop, huh? But we like Bo so far. Hey, get out of there, Bruno. Bad dog. That's gross. So we got the trailer on the truck. We gotta put the kids' car seats in, and uh, we're gonna take these kids to school, and then me and Kayla are gonna go on our way. How fast you're running? Wow, so fast. <laughs> Crazy kids. All right, I'm gonna put the car seats in, and then uh, we'll get on with the rest of our day. Bye, Bo. Bye, Bo. We're gonna go try to get you some wood to make you a little house. Say we love you, Bo. Bye. I only made him donkey. You donkey? like calling him donkey? Yeah. Okay, you could call him donkey. You could call him donkey. All right, on our way to drop off the kids, and then on to the mission of trying to get some Bye, wood. Chickens. Bye, chickens. Bye, chickens. All right, guys. So this morning, too, the place that we're getting wood uh, didn't follow through. They didn't even text us back. So we ended up just you getting a swing set okay, that we're gonna use as part yeah, of the framing. Yeah. And now we drove a little ways out and this lady's selling a whole, or she's not even selling, she's just giving away a whole bunch of uh, pallets. Here we are, we're gonna get a bunch of pallets. She's really nice, she said that we could record and stuff. And then she told us that this canoe we could take too. Yeah, she said we could take that for free. What do you think, Colton? Are you gonna help us collect some pallets? Yeah. So that's pretty cool. I don't know how we're gonna get that on there with trying to get pallets. So we got some work to do, huh, Colton? So we start loading up the trailer and see how we're gonna do all this because she said we could take some blocks too. We're gonna get this canoe loaded up and then, uh, or not the canoe, we'll just get everything loaded up, I guess. See how we can strap it down on our trailer and then uh, we'll go from there. And we'll be back in a second. All right, guys, we got it done. Loaded everything up and we got all this stuff for free. We got this new big water jug, all these pallets. Colton got some new toys. Got a barrel, a canoe. Yes, we Yeah, we could take this to Mimi and Papa's and go on their pond. Kayla got the bike of her dreams. Got some new cinder blocks. A big pot. Some poles. Yeah, we got all kinds of stuff, huh? So we got it all strapped down. And as any good dad would say, this isn't going to go anywhere. Alright, we got to try to make it home now, huh? Yes, it's Yeah. Nice and slow. See you guys back at the house. All right. It is now the next day. We're on day two of the Bow Stable Building Project. We gotta unload all this stuff out of here. And then we're gonna try to put it like right around here somewhere. So my issue is the wind. So I gotta try to face it up towards the house kind of so the wind's not blowing up in there. But then I can't face it too much so then the rain doesn't run inside of it. I don't know if you could tell, but it's pretty slanted. So that's gonna suck, trying to make it level, but we'll figure it out. The chicken coop we built ended up coming out really good, so I think we can build this pretty decently. So I think I'm gonna try to take the lazy way, there's a bow poop, take the lazy way, and instead of like actually framing out the walls, we're gonna try to just make the pallets the walls. Look, he's in the A-frame, in it. <laughs> we dropped a piece of wood. That's funny. <laughs> What's he doing down there? But so far, we got all this stuff for free besides the swing set that we bought. It was $20 for that wood. And then half of it's down there we gotta go get. And then all these screws that I have, besides this, are from our old deck. We used to have an old above ground pool when we bought the house and we took that apart. So most of it will be free. Got a little bit of tin for the roof. Since I'm not a builder, this is gonna come out really bad. It's not an instructional video. Just gonna try to get it up and hope for the best. And I hope you guys enjoy it and then we'll come back after if we ever finish it, I don't know. <laughs> See how many days it's gonna take. It's supposed to rain tomorrow. Let's start that time lapse now. All right, guys, we got all our pallets out. I think this is gonna be our back wall right here. And uh, we'll figure it out. So 
we got all our other wood that I've had left over from the deck that we took apart. Now we just gotta lay it out, try to flatten it out. I don't know. And then let's go from there. You ready to do this? All right, well, we didn't do a time lapse. <laughs> Look at this ghetto mess we got going on here. I'm sure everyone that's carpenters out there are gonna be blown away by this beautiful work that we're doing. <laughs> Surprisingly, for how flimsy it is right now, it's pretty stable for what it is, and we haven't had any walls fall on us. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. So we're trying to connect them with two by fours right there. Super good. <laughs> This is one big long piece back here. But right now, we're trudging along. We're having fun so far. Get on with the rest of it. All right guys, so we're here at the end of day two of building this for our donkey. So I'll show you some awesomeness that we've done so far. That looks pretty straight. Yep. And then uh, since we didn't square it up, you know, this is running on the outside. And then this one's right on the inside. <laughs> Don't want to level these out or anything. Just throw them on the floor. Good to go. So far, it's pretty sturdy. I'm surprised. Are you surprised, Logan? Yeah. Yeah, so are we. So, so far, <laughs> we got a natural pitch going down so the water can run off. Don't want these to line up or anything. So when you run your uh, siding that lines up, we'll just have a curve around. That sounds good. If you guys want to see how this turns out, stick around, and uh, we'll come back with day three. All right, day three, we're out here trying to work on this a little bit before it starts raining. And Bo is starting to get a little aggressive towards me. Came out this morning to give him a cookie. He's super nice, and I started walking towards his little stable, and then he chased me all the way down the hill. I don't know what his issue is, but we'll see if he keeps continuing to me to be me. But Google says that. We should get them castrated and that should help. But I don't really want to do that because if we got a female donkey, I want to be able to have baby donkeys. We'll see what happens, I don't know. But on to the building. On to the building. Alrighty, the end of day three. Beautiful. See how level we made it? <laughs> Bo's gonna get some good air conditioning down there. We are grade A carpenters here. I'm just happy that it's sanding. Yeah. As you can see, look at that. Oh, straight cut. Perfect. Good. Looking good. It's pretty cool. We made these windows intentionally right here for the donkey. And then in the winter, we're gonna try to figure out how we could patch it up. So then we could cover it so the not as much air gets through. So we gotta do this side. The roof we gotta do. I don't think we're gonna have enough wood, so we're probably gonna have to end up going and buying some. Coming along, coming along. I wish we had enough wood. I don't know if we're gonna have enough wood to go up the side, so we're gonna have to figure out what we're gonna do for that. But we just wanted to make sure at least the bottom was covered. It's starting to rain now. At least we got some work done. Pretty happy with it so far. And uh, here we go, day four will be tomorrow. Thank you guys for watching. Keep following along. And dee ba doo, -ba -doo. <laughs> Day four of Donkey Den building. We got our Look at him. He's worker out here helping us. 
And Bruce is getting chased by the donkey. All right, let's get it. All right, end of day four. This is what we got so far. Luckily, we had the exact right amount of wood to do the siding, which is pretty incredible. We got really lucky with that. <laughs> this is what we got. It doesn't look that good, but it's functional, and that's all that matters. So I try to fix this corner with this. Looks a lot better and stronger. I don't know if you can tell how out of line. It's definitely going like that. Oh well. We got a natural pitch coming down. And then that back corner is lower, so it's all going to be shooting off. So that works out. Kayla's worried about the donkey being cold tonight, so she's trying to cover up all our hard work. Severe fr uh, freezing warning. Yeah, so it's supposed to be pretty cold. Well, this is what we got so far. I just got to do the roof. He's eating some leaves off the tree. But I'm going to run another board up here, and then I'll be done for the night. Looks pretty good for a bunch of pallets and free wood and free screws. Pretty happy with it. Bo seems to like it so far. Here, look at your bed. I cleaned out your bed. Come on. See if she could get him to go in there. Come on. Oh, here. It's your bed. It's cozy. At least the wind won't be completely blown on him. Yeah. And uh, we'll Come see on. what it looks like when the roof's on there and when it's kind of more done. But stick around. I think we're on day six now, the donkey build. And it's been a couple weeks since we last worked on it. But yesterday we went and got all this metal right here. So that's what we've been waiting on to work on the roof. Got all that for 60 bucks. And we got it on Facebook Marketplace. The guy was super nice. And uh, he even gave us that chicken wire for free too. That'll help us out with the roof. And I ended up having to go buy some two by sixes. We got a big storm coming. Probably right when we start working, it's gonna start raining. Kayla's up in the bathroom making a big poop. And then she'll be down to help me up. Oh, she's yelling, she needs gloves. I guess she's done with her poop. I think what I'm gonna have to do, we're gonna have to make this level right here and make it a little bit higher. And then we'll make this level also obviously be lower. And then we'll have the boards running across. My dad said to make it into two, but we're gonna go against his words. <laughs> Years of construction experience, and we're just gonna do a lean to kind of. Doing it the cheap way. We'll get that time lapse going for you guys. Here we go. or 20 minutes but uh, this is what we got so far first one up not looking too bad so the uh, <clears throat> little brackets I bought were too big so I ended up adding that second uh, two by six and then folded it up under and just put a screw I'm gonna go through do the rest of them and as you can see uh, this is level now so it was that off that there's that much of a pitch right there now that's level, and now this is level. Spread them out evenly or anything, we just threw them up wherever. Just like the rest of the structure, we just did whatever. At least all the water's gonna run off this way. Yeah, it'll be nice when we get the roof on. And then we'll probably just cover the rest of this part right here with metal, because we got so much metal now. Put the metal in the back, and then probably make those out of metal too. It's coming along, coming along. Hombo, you gonna go in here someday? Watch, I bet he won't even use it. <laughs> but at least for any other animals we get, they might use it. Let's get the time lapse going, finish the rest of this route. What you think, what you think about When you're born into a fire Let them burn, let them burn it out Sell them to the richest buyer
just line this straight up, ran a line up the front, flipped it over, ran a line up right here, to the side to get the ends. And with the thickness of this, just lined it up like that, ran a line across the top, and then marked where it was at originally. If you draw your lines, you have your line up here, and up here. No, I just went with the thickness of this. Or it could be a little bit deeper. Draw your line there. It gets your depth. And I just pre marked them where they were originally at. And then you just cut this out. And it's coming out pretty good for what it is. So I'll go back through, put my ties on. I've never cut these before. This is the first time I ever have made a cut like that before. But it's looking not too bad. It's alright. Like I said, it probably could be a little bit deeper, but oh well, not a big deal. Coming along, coming along. Boys are out here trying to help me. Kayla's finally out here so I can stop jumping up and down by myself. Struggling. I've never cut like that before. Pretty cool. I just gotta put the ties in. Supposedly we have a hurricane coming in tonight. So oh right now a tornado's coming. So let's see if the roof blows off. Oh, some pretty good cuts. Never doing them. Proud of myself. Hammer time! Hammer time! All right. Picking leaves. Are those for Bo? Yeah. He oh, that's good. He likes them. Kayla's working hard. It's humid out here. And a tornado's coming. And a tor tomato's coming. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. We got all this metal for 60 bucks. Everybody's trying to. Everyone's trying to sell these for used, like $20 a sheet for these. Yeah. All right. Let's get this stuff up on the roof now. Just the time for the tornado to come. I know. <laughs> oh yeah. Colton's making Bo some treats down here in Devon. <laughs> Yeah, baby. Good job, I love that. Devin's doing wrong things up there, he said. I heard you, sweetie, good job. Are you helping out too? Good job. What did you do wrong? Why? No, it goes in. Almost done with the roof. <laughs> well, let's see if we can even stand on this. Well, we Devin's been hang gliding and wall climbing yeah. to get things done. <laughs> he looks like Tarzan, so I guess it. <laughs> It plays the part. We're too lazy to get the ladder. You're too lazy. So this is what we're working with right here. Nice and floppy and wavy. Floppy jalopy. 
just like your floppy. <laughs> This is scary. It's scary. Afraid, and just, okay. There's a bar right here in the middle and there's and the ends are safe to stand on. Oh yeah, this is like luxury now. <laughs> I'm killing my knees up here. I cut him on accident. Or was it? It's that time of the month, so you never know. <laughs> the kids ditched us. They don't want to help anymore. The dogs do though. They always ditch us. Yeah. All right, now I'm signing off. Watch, I'm gonna fall through the roof. Don't right do it. Off. All right, we'll be back after we're done with the roof. All yeah, right, here we are on the inside. But looks good. These ones I just sent off to put underneath. Screwed them. Does it look like a stable, Bruno? Does it look good? Yeah? Does it look good, Bruce? Let's take a look around the outside. Oh, yeah. Not too bad for a husband or wife that don't know how to build anything. So what I'm gonna do is just put metal, I think, there to stop the wind eventually, but since it's summer, we're not gonna close it yet. And then here, I'm just gonna frame it and then put metal over it so we can open them like windows. It's definitely not straight at all. Sure everyone that's in construction and knows how to build stuff is gonna think this is absolutely ridiculous and it does suck pretty bad but hey just keeping a donkey in it and so far well this whole project's only gonna cost us under 200 bucks is what we spent so we spent $20 on the swing set $60 on the metal and then we just bought that wooden stuff with it up there today about 120 bucks or something for the wood and the brackets and the screws not too bad not too bad but if we come back, probably come back next week and then finish building that. So, got work tomorrow. It's going to be the weekend. And there's our chickens and Bo way out there. But we'll see you guys next week. Bo likes to get as close to us as possible when we're doing things out here. Huh? Yeah. Can you see your teeth? His lips are so soft. Huh? Oh, dude.